Some people ask me to help them understand why do bad things happen to them? And they tell me that they do visualize and they do do positive affirmations and they think positively as much as they possibly can and they're quite intentional about being happy and having you know, a good optimistic outlook and then bad things still happen to them or relationships that they have with whether it's friends or people close to them, family, something goes wrong and really negatively affects them and they ask me, do I attract this? Do I actually create this? Because I'm doing all these things that are correct. Well, the truth is, of course we attract everything that happens to us, every single thing. Because whatever we, if we were like a radio signal, if we were emitting a signal, a vibration, which is your mood or your emotional state, it comes from our thoughts. And let's say this was a transmitter and it was sending out the signal, every single thing in our life is a vibrational match. Everything is a vibrational match, everything is a vibrational match. So when people are confused about what did they do to cause this negative thing in their life when they're so focused on being positive, it's a really good question. So I'm going to give you a couple of examples. The one person said to me, there are people in their life that get very angry at them and this makes them feel very disappointed and how they respond to them and it's unnecessary and they get overly angry and the, the, the punishment never even fits the crime. So that's one example. Another example is someone saying that someone they know really frustrates them because they don't take action out of guilt. They don't take action in their life. They could be doing this and this and they should be doing this and this and this, but they don't because of guilt. And, and this really affects them in their life. So this is why this is an issue. Examples like this. Well, I've always said, and I've said this in one of the Meaningful Mondays that I've done uh, previously, if you want to go back and have a look, they're on YouTube, Meaningful Monday, there's one about loving yourself, 10 steps to learning to love yourself. The truth is, every single thing that happens to us is actually a reflection of our inner state. So if we're making this vibrational transmission, everything is a vibrational match. So when, we when these people are asking me these questions, the truth is, what you need to ask yourself is, where in your own life are you doing these very things to yourself? Not to someone else. When I say a reflection like someone or things are your mirror, I'm not saying you are doing that to other people the way they are doing it to you. I'm saying where are you in your life doing that to yourself? So when I ask these people these questions, when they thought about it and they were honest, they were either speaking angrily to themselves with their thoughts in your head, running themselves down, getting frustrated with themselves, and beating themselves up way too often. Well, if that's what we're doing to ourselves, of course we're going to attract people into our life who do the very same thing and match that very behavior. And then we think, how did I create this? We're not saying that you're doing it to others. We're saying, where in your life are you doing that to yourself? Or the example of not taking action because of guilt. Where in your life do you not take action, perhaps if this is a scenario, because of guilt? And it might be a completely different context, but somewhere along the line that's happening. Or someone else I know was getting very frustrated with people being unreliable. And they say, I'm so reliable, I don't like that. It's like one of my highest values. When I say I'm going to be there, I'm going to be there on time. If I say I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that on time. They get frustrated when people are not reliable with them. So the question is, where in their life, when I ask, where in your life are you not reliable with yourself? And you know, the truth is we let ourselves down and we're harder on ourselves than on anyone else out there. And the answer to this question was letting themselves, letting, that person did let themselves down, but in a completely different context. It wasn't about I'll be here at seven o'clock and I'll be on time and I'll give you this thing by Tuesday. It was letting themselves down in other aspects, getting up one day and thinking, these are the things I want to do to get further in my life and never taking that action. These are the dreams that I have and I want to go after and never taking steps towards them or having this great idea to better their life or to grow their business or to leave their corporate job and do something that they're really passionate about and then not taking those steps. So in those ways, they were letting themselves down. 
they were not being reliable to themselves. And then of course people are going to show up that match that behavior. So there are a couple of things that a person can do. The one is, I know this doesn't even sound like it's related, but please trust me, this is related. Meditate daily. Daily meditation is a way to clear out this constant negative chatter in our head and give us like a moment of pause mentally. And that gap actually raises our vibration. And if we do that first thing in the morning, it helps us for the rest of the day. It may not seem very obvious or like connected to what you want in a linear fashion, but trust me, meditating daily does make a difference. If you don't know how to meditate, please go to silvermethodaustralia.com.au. That's my website. There's a free download on the homepage. It's guided and there's a video there. Start somewhere, start with guided meditations, but just learn to practice daily meditation. The other thing is, become really aware of what you're thinking. The best thing to do, if you don't, if it's not easy to be aware of what you're thinking. We have about 70,000 thoughts a day, they say. And they say we make about 35,000 decisions a day. Wow. Are you aware of that? I don't think I'm, that I'm aware of that in my life. So many of these thoughts are negative and they are attracting things in our life that we don't want. And we keep thinking we're doing all these positive things, but bad things are happening. Why? The truth is, there are negative thoughts going on, otherwise things wouldn't happen that way. So the best thing for you to do is become very aware of how you feel. Just become like a crazy barometer for feelings. Like, be nuts about the awareness of whether you're feeling good or whether you're feeling bad. And every time you're feeling bad, just make a mental note or even make a written note. What was going through your head? And just try to use the silver method cancel cancel technique and overwrite it with a positive affirmation of something but stop that pattern because when you have a thought you have another thought and another thought and the more you keep thinking and the more minutes go by you create more and more momentum and where there's momentum there's energy and where energy goes and where attention goes more and more energy flows and now you've really got something going on that's relatively strong attractor when the energy is being in that vibration for quite a long time and that's how we get things happen to us that we don't want so my friends i hope this has been helpful for you i haven't got that many tips because it's too long to put in this video but if you watch the meaningful monday learning to love yourself there are 10 steps there on how to learn your, to love yourself everything in our lives is a reflection of our relationship with ourselves no one else with ourselves that's why to really become the king of the universe, the king of your universe, is to conquer yourself, not others. It's not about fixing other people and making them be nice to us and keeping us happy. It's conquering ourselves. We've got so much going on between these two ears that causes a lot of things in our life that we're not happy about. And it's not that difficult. It just takes awareness and a bit of practice of certain techniques. So I'll start off by saying meditate daily. Then I'll say definitely be aware of your thoughts. And learn to love yourself, be kind to yourself. And when people are doing things to you, or things happen to you that make you unhappy, ask, where in my life am I doing this to myself? So that's it from me. God bless, and have a wonderful day.